everyone in this class we are going to discuss about the mac address okay so what we are going to do we are going to learn about the mac address so this is a switch switch is working on the mac address already we know that one okay so what i will do i will take the switch here i will take the cli of the switch here already some configuration is done we are going to verify that no need to worry how we can check the mac address first of all let's see that one when we go inside the switch go in the privilege mode we have password i put password abc so now we are inside now you need to check the mac address mac table we can say we can check the mac table of the layer 2 switch so we can write show mac address table and press enter so if you see here i don't have anything here okay mac table is empty but what we have a entry at present we don't have any entry but if you see we will have the vlan detail we will have the mac address and how they learn like dynamic or static and which port in that one so we are going to discuss this one so currently we, do, we don't have anything currently we don't have any entry in the mac table so what we will do we need to send some traffic from the machine from the end devices okay if you see here this is a end device this is a end device so when you send some traffic from this machine so this switch is going to learn the mac address for that because switch want to send this traffic to destination from source to destination so switch is going to do first time broadcast after that switch is going to entry the mac entry they are going to enter the mac address in the mac table and if you remember switch is going to store mac entry till 5 minutes if that device is not communicating okay if it is if this device is not active they are going to remove the mac entry so if you see i don't have any entry here okay so what i will do i will go to this machine i will go to the desktop before i will check what i have this is my gateway this is a gateway of this computer so what i will do i will send some traffic to the gateway how we will send just go in the command prompt and write ping and put the gateway whatever gateway you have so this is a gateway gateway ip is 192.168.1.1 i am sending the traffic i am getting the reply back okay i send some traffic now you can look the mac table you can type again same command show mac address table when you see i have here mac entry what i have here switch is saying i have the mac table i have vlan 1 okay vlan 1 they are having two entry from vlan 1 this is a mac address switch learn this mac address how switch learn dynamically we did not configure statically switch learn dynamic means automatically switch learn this one when the traffic is going and this mac address is connected to this interface this mac address is connected to this interface so this is a interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 because this machine is sending the traffic so frame come to this switch switch don't know the mac entry about this one destination mac address switch don't know so what he done he do the broadcast and he learn this entry so this is another entry switch know that one so first of all what i will do if you see here this is a mac table mac entry we have vlan 1 this is a mac address switch learn how he learn he learn dynamically and this mac address is connected to this interface so what we will do i will check where is the fast ethernet 0 by 1 here so this machine mac address should be this one so how we can check we can go here okay and if you want to check the mac address of this machine go here go to this interface and check this is a mac address verify this is only the mac address which we are getting in the mac table or any other address how we can verify let me show you we will go here and where is the switch this is a switch and you can check 000 dot this one 0c 0b 0773 so this is correct okay so what we are saying here switch learn the mac address of this machine and switch is saying this mac address is connected to my interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 and how switch learn switch learn dynamically and switch learn another interface mac address also another interface is fast ethernet 0 by 4 so what you can do you can go here where is the 0 by 4 this interface 
so this mac address switch learn so we can go here and we can check also mac address here okay mac address you can verify here what you will do you will go here i think password is abc and you want to get show interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and press enter and check here what is the mac address of this interface this one this is a mac address of router interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 okay where is the mac address here this one you can say both are same this one and this one both are same we can say this is a mac address so now you can go to the switch how we can do i will put this top so it will not close it will keep like this only now what we will do we will go to the switch and we can verify here switch entry this one you can compare it is same or not 00 e0 dot b0 e9 dot 8c01 okay so switch learn correct mac address okay so what we are saying whenever we are sending the traffic switch is going to learn the mac address if you see here i am sending the traffic from here to here because if you see this router interface what is the ip of this router interface if you want i will show you how we will check the ip of router interface you can write here show ip interface brief when you write show ip interface brief you can see the fast ethernet 0 by 0 is having 192 1.1 so this is a gateway for this computer when this computer sending the traffic to this gateway switch is learning this mac address and also this interface mac address and he is putting in his mac table and if we are not sending any traffic till five minutes then switch is going to erase that entry if you wait five if you wait for five minutes this entry will be deleted okay so what we learn here we learn how we can check the mac table how we can check the mac table this is a command we will write show mac address table with this one we are going to get the mac detail before when we check we don't have anything here empty mac table we have nothing is present here okay but when we send some traffic we have the entry what entry we have you can see switch learn mac address which is in the vlan one okay this interface is connected to this mac address how switch learn switch learn dynamically this one and this interface is in which vlan vlan one and if you see this is also another mac address switch learn how switch learn dynamically and this interface is also connected to vlan one what is that interface fast ethernet zero by four so this way we can see the mac table and if you have confusion you can uh, wait for five minutes and then again check show mac address table see here already five minutes is finished when i write here show mac address table you can see mac table is empty we don't have any entry in the mac table why we don't have because you need to remember after every five minutes switch is going to erase that entry if the device is not active that switch is going to remove that entry if the device is active means he is sending some traffic he is working he is using some resources or sending traffic then this entry will be present here if this device is not active switch wait for five minutes he will check if the if this device is active or not switch is going to wait five minutes and he is going to check if this device is not active not sending any traffic switch automatically delete that entry so now switch remove this entry and also remove this entry from the mac table now we don't have already five minutes finish so you need to remember this one switch is going to uh, what we can how we can define we can define here switch is going to remove the mac entry if the device is not active till five minutes or 300 second also if you convert into second like 60 second and five minutes so you can calculate like this 300 second if you want to say in minutes you can say every five minutes switch is going to delete the mac entry which device is not active or every 300 second you can convert this minute into second one minute is equal to 60 seconds 60 into 5 minutes you can see 5 6 30 so this zero so 300 second so sometime we are saying 300 second sometime we are saying five minutes so do no need to confuse both are same only here we are defining in the minutes here we are saying in the second i hope it is clear in case if you face any issue let us know join our telegram channel 
बिकॉज वेरी सुन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द लाइव बैच इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू कैन सेंड अस मैसेज वी आर गोइंग टू नोटिफाई यू इन द टेलीग्राम चैनल दैट वी आर स्टार्टिंग द न्यू बैच सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू कैन व्हाट्सअप एंड गेट द डिटेल